Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right. Well, praise God. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And uh, Good morning. Good morning. welcome to New Beginnings Church at Big Ben. Amen. Pastor Sonia and Patricia, we want to welcome you. Amen. So if you don't have a home church, you can make this your home church. Amen. And uh, this is uh, where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. We also yes. have a passion for God, and we have a passion for souls. Yes. Souls are people that haven't accepted Christ. Amen. Oh. For Christ, for Jesus, so loved the world that he gave. Father, he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Yes. So there's people out there that you can reach that I can't be around. Mm -hmm. And I've got people around me that you can't be around. But still, as a body, we can go together as a church and minister to these people. Amen. Yes, so amen. we have a passion for God, but we also have a passion for souls. Yes. He's still a, we, he, he still got us here. He ain't called us back. So we're going to do what he wants us, what he's amen. called us to do. Amen. So, bienvenidos al Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family visitors and all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. And don't let him go because he's got something for me. I ain't letting go, Lord. You got something for me, so I want it. Amen. And you got to be determined also. We're going to be talking about because he lives. Oh, Just uh, last Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. Amen. You call Easter Sunday. We had a wonderful message and we found out again that Jesus lives. He rose. Amen. You know, since death final call, he did not obey. They crucified him. They buried him. They put a big old stone over that uh, uh, opening so nobody can go in there and pull the body out, take the body, steal the body, whatever. But guess what? Sunday came and the stone was rolled away. Yes. See, they're blaming each other. Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? <laughs> and Mary Magdalene came to looking for the body and it's going. He talked the gardener. He's talking to Jesus. He couldn't even recognize him. She says, "Where did you put his body? Tell me so I can go get it." You know. Still, you know, we serve a risen Savior. Yes, how do. many other gods? We talked about how many other gods are still in their grave. Uh, Only our God, Jesus, rose from the dead. Amen. That's it. Woo, hallelujah! Yeah. I'm excited. Prepare yourselves to receive. Listen, Lord's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. None of them include the feet. This is what we need to do. We need to make ourselves available. Amen. Just say, Lord, here am I. You know, we try to volunteer all our friends, all our enemies. We try to volunteer everybody. Volunteer yourself. Amen. Amen. He's you. It's you he wants. Amen. Yeah. So you need to make yourself available. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. All things. So don't. It's not about your abilities. It's about your availability. Uh -huh. And you being able to do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. Ooh, I'm excited. I don't know about you, but grab your sword, soldier of God, and uh, let's yes. make this declaration together. Amen. Praise yeah. right, God. We should know it by now. Yeah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'm never going to say in Jesus' name. You know, you have a mind just like I do. And where's the battlefield? The mind. You're always thinking things. Either positive or negative. But you're always thinking. You know, even if you think in some negative things, don't give voice to it. Just renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. And confess what the Word of God says. Amen. That's the best thing to do because the enemy can put thoughts and put things there. And if you think them long enough, you're going to speak them out or you're going to do them. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Amen. Renew your mind. That's what he tells us to do. Renew your mind with the Word of God because mm -hmm. the mind is always going to be like that. The enemy is coming to try to put things on you. Distractions. Remember what his mission is. We're going to talk about it too. Steal, kill, destroy. Mm -hmm. And the battlefield is the mind. Amen. Woo. Man, hallelujah. Man, we can say amen and go home. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> but I'm excited. I don't know about you. Uh, most of you joining us by audio video. I just read these two nuggets here to uh, our congregation here. And I want to read them to you also. Don't tell your God you have big problems. Tell your problems you have a big God. Amen. Don't magnify your problems. Magnify your God. Yeah. Amen. God sacrificed His Son Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, fulfilled, and He rose, and He's risen, and, he, and He's alive. So we need to confess what the Word of God says about the situation. Amen. Yeah. Or if you have problems, cast it on Him. Give, mm -hmm. 
all the tears to him and press on with whatever it is that he wants you to do. And every one of us has a call. Yes. If you don't know, now you know. You have a call in your life. Who's called you? He did. Amen. He paid the price for you. He bought you back. And you belong to him. Yes. And it's time that you know. You belong to him. So give yourself back to him. Lord, here am I. Send me. And guess what? He's going to send you. I don't know what to do. Well, that's okay. You know, Noah says, I don't know how to build an ark. What's an ark? <laughs> What's rain? You know, how do I part this sea? You know, it's an Egyptian army behind me and the sea, Red Sea in front of me. What do I do? What am I doing in the belly of a whale or a big fish? You know, <laughs> walls of Jericho are too big. But God, but God. Yes. Amen. But God, yes. Because Amen. it is, I can face tomorrow. Amen. So don't tell you. Uh, God about your big excuse me don't tell God you have big problems you mm -hmm. tell your problems you have a big God yeah. when life is too hard to stand uh -huh. kneel kneel <laughs> thank you <laughs> you kneel it's okay you know uh -huh. you may be a, a macho guy whatever you call yourself or you're too big too too strong but guess what one of these days we all going to bow to him so you're going to stand face to face with him you know yeah. how macho are you now mm -hmm. He's going, maybe one day he'll say, why didn't you use the gifts I gave you? Uh -huh. Why didn't you obey me? You know, yeah. you had an opportunity. And I sent all these people around you. And you never gave. Mm -hmm. You always denied. And you're always mm -hmm. never available. Mm -hmm. Let's remember this, okay? Let's let's do it now while we can. Once it's once we're gone, it's, it's too late. Yeah. And here's another nugget I shared with the church. Let your words agree with the word of God. I mean, this is on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. We, we fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. So we need to get the word in us so that we can speak the word. Amen. And agree with what the word of God says. Amen. Woo. Can you say amen or oh amen. Amen. <laughs> amen? Praise God. We're going to be talking about He's risen because He lives. We have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. And you know, we can focus on last Sunday, which is Resurrection Sunday. But we serve a risen Savior. And because He lives, I can face tomorrow. We got a few things. There we go. Because He lives. Keep going. Because He lives, what? I can face tomorrow. Tomorrow is, is uncertain. And don't be worried about tomorrow because we got enough things to worry about today. But still, if you're going to worry about it, don't. Give it to him. Mm -hmm. He says, cast it on me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Keep yeah, going. Yeah. We're just going to add on a few more and a few more. And I've got the song too. <laughs> because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. You know, if you're not walking in faith, if you're not walking in the word, you're walking in fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God didn't want us to walk in fear. He says, walk in faith. Amen. We walk in faith, not by sight. You know, sometimes sight just it, uh, frightens us. So we stepping out in faith on a daily basis. Fear is gone. Fear is going to hold you back. Fear is going to say you can't do it. Mm. Fear is going to hold you, uh, detain you. You know, mm -hmm. you you want to let go of fear. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and of a sound mm -hmm. mind. Yeah. Amen. And he says, because I know he holds the future, mm -hmm. Lord holds the future so we can have we can be assured you know that God is there for us all the time we serve a risen Savior and you know we we speak to a living God mm -hmm. not a deaf God you know all these other gods so-called gods you know they're still in the grave mm -hmm. amen you can go and dig them out and they're still there <laughs> amen. he says life is worth the living just because he lives you know hey you got problems you want to live your life in joy and excitement you know and knowing that you're pleasing God you know yes Amen. Your life is worth the living. You know, too many people, uh, even Christians, are so sad, so lonely, you know, because they're not living it. Mm -hmm. They're not walking it, you know. Mm -hmm. They're not speaking it. We got to do these things. We got to live it, walk, and speak, you know, the Word of God. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. When you do these things, you know, it's going to be a joy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be life is worth living. Lord, I'm doing yeah. this unto you. Yeah. When you do it unto him, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to be so much better, you know. <laughs> I'd rather please him than try to please the world. Mm -hmm. The world's never going to be pleased. You know why? Because they're jealous. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to do anything except just sit and do nothing. Yeah. Now they're pleased. Mm. You know? But no, I want to be a God pleaser, not a people yeah. pleaser. Yeah. Amen? Not a world pleaser. Mm -hmm. If you do that, you know, you follow the wrong God. You got, you got to follow him. Let me read my notes. <laughs> so we have victory in Jesus daily. You can choose this and you have victory. He wants you to have victory. Yeah, but you don't know my problems. Yeah, but you don't know my God. Remember, we just talked about magnifying your God and not your problems. Mm -hmm. Amen. How come you still have them? Mm -hmm. Why haven't you given them to him? Mm -hmm. Amen. He don't want you to have the problems. He sacrificed his son for you not to have those things. He says, give it to me. Cast it on me. Mm -hmm. We need to understand yes. this. Amen. <laughs> he put yeah. us here to succeed and be victorious, not mm -hmm. to be defeated. Amen. Come on. Amen. Or on me. Amen. We celebrate Resurrection last Sunday. Praise team just sang a beautiful song a few minutes ago. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, mm -hmm. all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives. Yeah. You know, when you got him on your mind first, and, and you got him on the throne, you know, some of us need to be dethroned yeah. and, and put him back on the throne, you know. See, he first the kingdom of God. Amen. You know what? Let's go there right quick. Mm. Look at uh, Matthew chapter 6. <laughs> this is just a bonus. Matthew 6, 33, we read it all the time. Let's read 36 and 34. <clears throat> Are you there? Matthew yeah. chapter 6, verse 36. Excuse me, uh, chapter 6, verse 33 and 34. It says, But seek ye, ye there, uh -huh. you can put your name, scratch yeah. ye, and put Jose, or put whatever your name is, scratch it, write it, you know, and say, But seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, all these things shall be added unto you. And 34 says, Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Mm -hmm. Sufficient unto all unto the day is the evil thereof. Amen. Yeah. So let's remember this. Don't worry about it. Mm. Amen. Don't you worry about it. Sis, because he lives, his truth changes our lives and affects our future. Because I'm walking in the truth. It's gonna yeah, it's gonna change me. Mm -hmm. And it ain't gonna please some people because sure. some people want to see you down and out. Yeah. Amen. That's for sure. <laughs> if you don't know, you know, people come and tell you about so-and-so mm -hmm. are the same people that leave you and go talk to them about you. About me. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. How many times I've told you, you know, I prayed and I said, Lord, to re, re, you know, take enemies from me. And I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. And you start walking with God and guess what? He's going to bring new friends around you. Mm -hmm. Some of them are going to be for a short season, some for mid-season, some for life. Mm -hmm. But still, they're going to be there. They ain't going to talk about you. They're going to lift you up. They're going to pray for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, what are you doing? I'm praying for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm here for you. They're there for you all the time. Yes. Woo! Praise yeah. God. And uh, we've yeah. talked about John 8, 832. Okay. He lived. He's alive. Yes, he's alive. And people get mad because they know that they can't prove it wrong. Mm. <laughs> He's alive because he lived like a face tomorrow. You need to write this down somewhere. I mean, all this, or to just get the song and sing it all day. Because he lives, I fear he's gone. I know he holds the future because I, he holds the future. Life is worth the living just because he lives. Keep going. I just kept adding on a little more and a little more. This is where we are. John, uh, John 8.32. For you, scratch the you. Yeah. And Write your name. You know, personalize your Bible. You know, get you a Bible. You know, that you can write. That you that, that you can write and personalize and highlight it. You know, <laughs> then Jose will know the truth, and the truth will set Jose free. Mm. Some translation says, "Make you free." Yeah. Amen. And uh, man, that's a big free. When you know the word, it's going to free you up from the world. It's going to free you up from all the negative stuff. Amen. It. Because they want you to be defeated. 
The enemy wants to see, wants you to be defeated. Here's another thing, as we talked about, you know, is if you only do it part time, <laughs> you no match to the enemy because yeah. the enemy is full time. Yes. You know, I don't know of any employer that will pay you full time for you to be there part time only. <laughs> Come on now. Don't throw anything at me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they pay you to do full time and they want you to do, they got a job description for you. Mm. And they want you to follow a job description yeah. full yeah. time, whatever the uh -huh. situation is, Monday through Friday, whatever. Still, you got to be faithful. You know, we want a faithful God. We don't want us. We don't want God to be a part-time God. Uh uh, no. He's not a part-time God. Mm -hmm. We know we can go there all the time. Mm -hmm. So we need to be full-time as yeah. well. You know, and what do we need to do? We need to know the truth, get the yes. truth in us, get the word in us, in us. so we can mm -hmm. set us free from all the negative mindsets. Yes. Amen. Things that need to be undone. Mm -hmm. You know, you give yourself. Renew your mind on a daily basis mm -hmm. and get all the negative stuff off of you. Give yourself a spiritual bath yes. as often as needed, you know, because all these negative leeches are just going to grab on you mm. and they're going to take on you. And if you don't renew your mind with the word of God, they're just going to eat up and eat mm -hmm. up and eat up and just until you give in. Mm -hmm. Don't give in. That's it. Just say, no, I'm just, mm -hmm. just going to give myself this spiritual bath. That's just between us. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> Give yourself a spiritual bath as often as needed. Meaning, renewing your mind because you fight a spiritual battle. Yes. You don't fight a physical battle. It is not that you can, something that you can do physically. It's something that you have to do spiritually. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> Woo. Man, we haven't even got off the first base yet here. <laughs> John, uh, 1 John 5, 11 and 12 says in the uh, New King James. Should have a slide. Keep going. Yeah. And this is a testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. This one says to know Jesus and you know life. Mm -hmm. Know Jesus, know life. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's very simple. You need these things, you know, you can just write for yourself mm -hmm. so that you can know. You got to know him. Yes. Amen. You have friends. Mm -hmm. You have husband or wife. And you know them well. Mm. But, you know, you know them. When you have relationship, that's what Christianity is all about. Mm -hmm. Having relationship with your Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. When you have relationship with him, you know him. And he knows you. He says, draw close to me and I'll draw close to you. You know? But if you don't, if you don't do it, no, no Jesus, no life, mm -hmm. and you're gonna struggle, amen. So the problem is not on his end. The problem is on, on our right end. Now. We need to get ourselves right. Mm -hmm. and then he wants to bless. Mm -hmm. He wants to give, sacrifice his son. So we need to line up with the word of God, and we gotta stay connected to the source. Yeah. If we're not connected to the source, we're gonna be defeated. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And not only that, we got to get the word in us yes. so we can speak it out. If we're not speaking it out, it ain't going to help you. You got to speak out the word. Don't be shy. <laughs> People will tell you where you can go in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. What about mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Can you tell them what the word says? Can you share? But it uh, says, and this is a testimony God has given us eternal life. And this is the life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Mm -hmm. First John uh, chapter five, verse eleven through twelve. Amen. Man, this is this is this is good. We need him. With, with him we have life. Without him we have no life. That's it. With, with him we succeed. Without him we are defeated. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's Come on. <laughs> the word of God is all <laughs> You ever need to be victorious. Speak yeah. the word and you'll have victory. Yes. Because you're speaking to the giants. You're speaking to the world. Yes. You're speaking to negative things. And yeah. you're speaking positive. Amen. The Bible says in uh, Proverbs 18, 21, it says death and life. It starts off with death. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. The tongue. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Yeah. It's very important that you speak the right things. I may think it, but I don't have to say it. That's it. Amen. It crossed my mind. 
Well, but you never knew because I didn't say it. Uh -huh. You just don't speak the negative things. I say, no, I'm not going to say that. I choose not to say that. Yeah. You have a choice. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you don't want to sow negative seeds, bad seeds in, 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 in your garden. Yes, yes. A lot of us do. And we got to be careful. Say, Lord, I said it. Forgive me. And you know, He'll mm -hmm. forgive you. Yes. But still, the best thing to do is guard your words, guard your mouth. Yes. Put a guard there. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't be hung by the tongue. I heard that so many times. Oh, Don't be no, hung no. by the tongue because the tongue will just hang you. No. <laughs> a word from God is all we need. Amen. To be victorious. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what the, listen, doesn't matter what the condition, what the situation, what the surroundings, what the settings, or what the sickness, or what the report says. Mm -hmm. Doctor's report says this. Uh, the financial report says this. Mm -hmm. Whatever the report says, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. says, look at what the Word of God says. Yes. And confess what the Word of God mm -hmm. says. Things will start to change. Yeah. They have to. Because it has to obey the Word of God. Mm -hmm. But we, we quote a few minutes ago, it says, Submit yourself to God, resist yeah, the resist devil, devil, and he has to flee. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to hang around. That's it. He has to be obedient to what the Word of God says. He has to be, the words that you speak have to obey what, what you spoke. He has to obey the word mm -hmm. that you spoke. It's the Word of God and God's back in you. Yeah. We just got to be bold enough to say it. Yes. Amen. We're bold yeah. enough when we're out there with the yeah. <laughs> with the world and the friends and the bridges, whatever they're saying, you know, you got to be careful. Say it. Doesn't matter what the odds look like, That's you know, it. and we talked about this a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. What are the odds? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Noah building ark. Yeah, oh, yeah. was an ark. Uh, uh, Moses mm -hmm. leading God's people, mm -hmm. but I can't talk, you know. I can't mm -hmm. do that, Lord. Lord wants you to do it. If God calls you to do it, yes. who are you to say, That's I it. can't do it? That's it. He has better expectations mm -hmm. and loves you better than what you... Mm -hmm. Think about yourself. Mm -hmm. The world's going to tell you negative things, and you rather believe what the world says mm -hmm. than what God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. We gotta, we gotta reverse that. Amen. What are the odds? <laughs> the Red Sea. I say, Lord, you told me to lead these people. Mm -hmm. Now you got an army behind me, <laughs> and I got a Red Sea in front of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He shows up. Yes. So whatever your situation, you know, Amen. doesn't matter. Jesus could have called a legion of angels. Mm -hmm. He could have just passed up going to the cross. Mm -hmm. And w just forget about us. Mm -hmm. He could have saved himself. Mm -hmm. But he didn't. He went through the humiliation that he went yes. through. Yes. And you know, Pastor Pat talked about this. The cross is not a sign of defeat. The cross is a sign of victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. You see my cross? It's a sign of victory. Praise God. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, just a few more. Jericho walls. You know it's impossible. And them walls are so thick. Oh, yeah. Man cannot knock them down. But God. What is your situation? <laughs> but God. He can He can oh, change yes. it. He can knock them down. He can make bring a change to them. Mm. But what about the fiery furnace? Mm. They want you to change. They want you to stop. They don't want you to do this. I said, wait a minute, we threw three and now it's four. Yeah. You know, if they could see on your situation, <laughs> and they say, wait a minute, mm -hmm. some, I see someone next to you. Mm. Yeah, Christ is with you. He mm. says, I never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah. He's with you, amen, all the time. All what about time. Daniel? Say, oh my God. Mm -hmm. His friend, the king, says, hey, you know, this is what you said. Now you got to throw him in there. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them in there. I, I guarantee you, them lions was real, real hungry. And they throw Daniel in there. And the next day, you know, he's gonna come, and he ran over there to see what happened to his buddy. Yes. <laughs> he was. Hey, we're still here. I'm still here. You know. Still here. And the lions are just sitting there like little kittens. You know. <laughs> God's gonna turn your situation to a good thing no matter what, yes. or He's gonna yes. see you through it no matter what. That's you right. know? Say, oh my God, I can't. But he can. Yeah. Impossible. It's possible. Okay. Yeah. So let's yeah. let's remember that. We just gotta we just gotta know what the word of God says and stand on it. Yes. Amen. And sometimes 
I said, I can't under, I don't understand, but I'm gonna do it. You know, what, what did what did he tell uh, what did he tell Peter? I mean, uh, mm, uh, yeah, it's Peter, right? He told Peter. He says, Yes, come. He says, I want to use your boat. Mm -hmm. He says, Just go out a little ways. I want to use your boat. He breaks his word, mm -hmm. and then he says, Okay, thank you for letting me use your boat. This is just me. He says, Thank you for letting me use your boat. He says, What I want you to do is I want you to launch out mm -hmm. and cast your nets. Mm -hmm. Girl, cast your nets, and, and and you know you're gonna catch some fish. He says, I'm a professional fisherman. And yeah. you're telling me, you know, you're a speaker. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, and you're telling me that we've been out all night, caught nothing. Nothing. We're professionals. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me mm -hmm. to go launch out after being out all night. And I'm cleaning my equipment mm -hmm. to put it up for the next day. Mm -hmm. He says, but you know, hey, I'm going to do what you said. He obeyed what Jesus told him to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Amen. That's the good thing. Yeah. He's told you to do something. And he, listen, whatever he told you to do, he ain't going to take his word back. That's it. That's it. Until one day, hopefully it's not too late, mm -hmm. you do what he's asked you to do. Amen. Some of us are still running. <coughs> like like Jonah. Running, <laughs> running, 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 running. Uh -huh. run. It's time to come home. It's like the prodigal son, you know, it's time to come home. How long are you going to hang out with the pigs, you know? How long are you going to hang out in the world? It's time to come home. Amen. And do. He says, when he gives you, when he put these gifts and callings on you, he says, he ain't taking them back. One day you'll have to stand in front of him and ask mm -hmm. him, or, or uh, tell him why you never did what he called you to do. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to hide it from me. You can hide it from, from us. But you know you have a call on your life. Mm -hmm. <coughs> everyone, every one of us. So we got to get busy and doing what he wants us to do. Amen. It's okay, Lord. I give in. Say good. <laughs> and you know what he does? He says, touch yourself and press on. Mm -hmm. He's not going to hold it against you. Yeah. You know, he says, Peter denied me three times. Mm -hmm. I can't use you anymore. He did. He says, he, want, he, put, he chose Peter to preach those messages those messages, thousands of souls came into the kingdom of God. He's called you and he wants to use you, no one else. He's got other calls for others, but he's got a call on you and he wants to use you. I called you. Jesus called you, not me, not nobody else except him. Amen. Hallelujah. The lady with the issue of blood, that's just another example. Man, Jesus is, is, is popular. <laughs> He's got all these people around him. They're bumping into him, not, you know. And, and all of a sudden, this lady worked her way, I don't know. And she worked her way over there and touched. She said, all I have to do is touch the hem of the garment, mm -hmm. you know. And she did. And, and Jesus says, stop. He says, somebody touch me. Mm -hmm. Everybody's bumping into you. What are you talking about? God knows when you call. God knows when you draw from him. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And he wants to bless you. Amen. He wants to release you from whatever issue of blood, whatever issue of trouble, whatever mess you're in. He wants to deliver you now. Mm -hmm. He's already paid the price. So all you need to do is come to him. Amen. Woo. Jesus' ability is not affected by our circumstances. Because of what Jesus has already done. Amen. He's paid it all. <coughs> He's paid it all in full so we can have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. We sang this song, Victory is Mine. You can sing that on a daily basis. Victory is mine. Victory belongs to me. Mm -hmm. Make God glad and the devil mad. Mm -hmm. He's going to get mad. You don't want to hear you singing those things. Yes, Amen. Is. It reminds him of his defeat. Yeah. You know, when Jesus <laughs> left, when mm -hmm. they laid him down, he said he went to hell and took the keys of death, hell, and the grave mm -hmm. from Satan. And Satan couldn't do anything. He just walked in there, took it. He couldn't mm -hmm. stop. He couldn't stop Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <coughs> so we have victory in Jesus. Victory belongs to me. I have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. Listen to this. Confess it. Say it. That you have the victory. Mm -hmm. Yes. Speak it out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, this is what the world's going through. This is what so-and-so is going through. And this is what's happening. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. It don't have to be mine. It's not mine. I'm not receiving it. Because that's not from God. <laughs> Whose report is you don't believe again, you know? 
It's not for me. What does the word of God says about the situation? What does the word of God says? Speak the word and you will have victory. Amen. First John 5, 4 and 5. Keep going. Keep going. Well, we we look John 10, 10, we talked about this. Is the thief comes. Yeah. The thief comes. Let me see what I have on the thief. <laughs> Uh, I've got it. Uh, hmm? Let me see how I wrote it. Oh, that's okay. The thief, the devil, the enemy comes not except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come. Jesus says, I have come that they might have life. And you have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Amen. I come that they, mm -hmm. that Jose, your name goes right there. Yes. Might have life. And Jose may have it more abundantly. Yes. That's what he wants you to do. Say, so this is what the enemy wants to do. This is what the world wants to do. Mm -hmm. But I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Amen. When we line up with him, he's going to bless you. Amen. None of these negative things. If you're getting thoughts, negative thoughts, or bad thoughts, suicide talk, thoughts, no, uh, all these negative things, mm -hmm. that's not from God. No. Amen. What we need to do is we need to renew our minds, and we need to start having fellowship with Him. Yes. Put Him on the throne and get the enemy out. <laughs> Amen. Get those Amen. thoughts out, you know, because that's not of God. Enemy wants to steal anything about stealing, killing, and destroying, you know, is from and the enemy. But anything good, living abundantly, is, you know, from God. Woo, man. Praise God. Keep going one more. Okay, that's where we are. First John 5, 4 and 5 says, yes. If everyone born of God overcomes... For everyone born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Mm -hmm. Who is it that overcomes the world? <clears throat> Only the one who believes that Jesus, Jesus is the Son of God. God. The New Living Translation says, For every child of God defeats this evil world. Yeah. He calls it an evil, evil world. Amen. But every child of God, every born again believer, if you're born again, if you haven't, it's time that you come to Christ. Amen. Amen. And we, we, we achieve this victory through our faith. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. So yes. if you receive him as your Lord and Savior, you know that you can yeah. have the victory. Amen? Yeah. Only the ones that believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen? Mm -hmm. You see Son and God capitalized there. Mm -hmm. The Amplified goes like this. It says, For everyone born of God is victorious. And overcomes the world. Yeah. For this is the victory that has conquered and overcome the world. Our continuing persistent faith in Jesus, Son of God. Mm -hmm. Who is the one who is victorious and overcomes the world. It is the one who believes and recognizes the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Man. <laughs> you stand on the word. <laughs> it tells us. To put on the armor. We're going to talk here in a few minutes about putting on the armor. He said, when you've done all the stand, what do you do? Stand. I'm standing on the word. Man, that's a beautiful song too. <laughs> standing yeah. on the word. Amen. Standing on the word of God. Mm -hmm. Man. If you think you're fighting a losing battle, mm -hmm. fear not. For you have victory in Jesus again. Yes. 8, John 8 32 says you know the truth and the truth is going to set you free yeah. amen yeah. God has get the word in you fill yourself with the world you know if you follow the world you're going to confess what the world God's been talking about mm -hmm. you're going to preach what the world is talking about mm -hmm. negative stuff just pouring out of you yeah. but if you are filled with his word mm -hmm. study meditating the word of God it's going to fill you and don't say, well, I can't, I can't, I can't learn the word. You know, I can't learn the scripture. You can. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. If he's telling you you can do all things through Christ, then you can. You just got to get self out of the way and let Christ in. Amen. It says, um, um, the truth is going to set you free. 
and it's going or, or make you free and it will and some of, I hope, hopefully you want to be set free <laughs> learn to stand on his victory his word and his truth because it's going to again set us free learn to fight the good fight of faith and put on the whole armor of God <clears throat> We're going to go through this and then we're going to close. Amen. But in Ephesians, if you go to Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 10 through 18, we're going to read this. <coughs> Mine starts off with put on the whole armor of God. You know, whatever job you do, you know, when, you, when I was military, I put on the whole armor. Yeah. They call you the uniform of the day. What's the uniform of the day? <laughs> you put on the uniform of the day. Mm -hmm. If you go into battle, you put your battle armor on. Amen. Yeah. And for God, for Jesus, we got to put on the full armor of God. I know yeah. if you're if you're a policeman, whatever job you do, you got to yeah. put put on the full uh, uniform uniform on. Uh -huh. Amen. <clears throat> and here telling us as Christians, we got to put on the whole armor of God. Amen. And it starts out of verse ten says this: Finally, yeah. my brethren. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yes. It says put on, 11 says put on the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. Never it says to take it off. But yes, it says yes. put on the whole oh. armor of God. That you may be able to stand in the wiles of the devil. Why? We don't wrestle. We don't fight mm -hmm. a physical battle. We don't fight brothers and sisters. We don't fight denominations. We don't fight whatever you know Amen. a physical battle since we fight for we wrestle not against flesh and blood uh -huh. but we against principalities uh -huh. against powers against the rulers of darkness of this age against mm -hmm. spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places mm -hmm. you fight a spiritual battle mm -hmm. you cannot defeat it physically you're no match you got to get the word and confess the word you got to get it in you in order to speak it out when you do this you are doing what God wants us to do. Amen. Therefore, take on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand an evil day and having done all to stand. Stand. Mm -hmm. I'm not standing by myself. You know, when David <laughs> saw the giant, he knew he wasn't by himself. He knew Jesus was back. He knew God was back in him. Yeah. Amen. And he charged the giant. Amen. He ran to the giant. He said, Stand therefore, having. Your girds, lo uh, you, you gird, you haven't girded your waist with truth, but this translation here. Oh, okay. Therefore, uh, having girded your waist with truth, mm. amen, uh, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, mm -hmm. and having shot your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of uh, faith, mm -hmm. which <clears throat> which you, uh, you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take on the helmet of salvation yes. and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always in all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Yeah. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You know, somewhere here is my little armor, my little soldier. <laughs> it's got the, it's got the. The, the scripture on there on the side but it says you know all Roman soldiers this is your battle uniform amen so what is your battle uniform on a daily basis put on the armor of God before you go anywhere before I go anywhere I'm just going to confess what the word of God says before I go anywhere because there's enemies waiting for you mm -hmm. there's giants waiting for you you know whatever situations are waiting for you and whatever the situation is, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Mm -hmm. And you coming against it and you uh, confessing the word of God is going to change things. Yeah. It's got to change. Amen. This uh, spiritual battle, this uh, spiritual battle has to change. Yeah. Hey, my little guy. Amen. This, oh. <laughs> Fear not, church. The cares and worries of the world defeat hopeless, hopelessness. Uh, faithless accusers feeling the world is at the end. Do not fear. 
says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. So know that Jesus is with you. We're going to close here. Jesus is with you. Know that Jesus has paid the price. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Because he lives, all fear is gone. gone. Amen. Amen. So you have relationship with him. Spend time with him. Amen. And press out and go and do what he wants you to do. Amen. And know that you can do all things through Christ Amen. who strengthens you. Amen. Woo, yeah. That you receive. <laughs> yes. Amen. Hallelujah. If you don't, I did. <laughs> so, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the precious word. Help us, Lord, to apply your word. Help us to be hearers and doers of yes. your word. Amen. Yeah. So, praise God. Amen. Amen. Those of you watching, uh, well, first of all, some of you know that you have a call in your life. Mm -hmm. And it's time to come home, just like the mm -hmm. prodigal son. It's time for you to say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And He will. You know, He's not one to just keep you down. He wants you to rise up and do yeah. and fulfill what, what mission He's given you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't let the world, don't let people keep you down in a way. Don't let the enemy hold you down. Yeah. Amen. It's time. Just confess Him as your Lord and Savior. Come to Him yeah. and, and start studying the Word. Start mm -hmm. Uh, attending a Bible-based church where they preach the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you start reading the Word, you know, and, and getting the Word and hearing it and doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. I need to confess this. Yes. And I need to speak to this body. I speak mm -hmm. to my body all the time. Say, body, line up with the Word of God. And mm -hmm. I pray for everything functioning mm -hmm. normal the way God created it to function. In Jesus' name. So by Jesus stripes, you are healed. We call you well. We call you healed. And line up with the word of God. Amen. I receive and I receive my healing. Amen. Some of us, well, for, whatever, for, for whatever reason, you never received it. Well, that's the way it's going to be. No, I'm going to speak the word of God over myself. And by Jesus stripes, I'm healed. I receive it. Body line up with the word of God and receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. So if you're watching, listening, you'd like to give. All you have to do is go to our website. It should be on the screen there, nbcbigbn.com. Hit that donate button and uh, mail it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And uh, all you're doing, Cash App, uh, New Beginnings Church of uh, the Big Ben. And just wanted to say thank you for all those of you that give. Amen. And we pray for you all the time. Ask the Lord to bless the gift and the giver. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Amen.